Today we are going to take a look at the Givenchy Makeup Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and I'm so happy to see you guys again, and I'm really excited to take a look at this high-end, bougie makeup alternative beauty blender. I really want to see how well this guy performs. Take a look at this. It's got a very interesting shape, and it's super bendy and soft, I might add. Really soft. If this is your first time here, first time looking at my face, and you aren't subscribed, girl, don't wait a moment later. Subscribe to this channel. I do upload three times a week normally. I did miss uh, Wednesday's upload, so I'm sorry, you guys, but uh, I'm getting ready for a big move, so life is just taking over. <laughs> but I'm really happy to be back again. So we are gonna start off by talking a little bit more about this blender. Now, okay, when I first heard that Givenchy had a sponge, I was like, what? And how much is it? Because I know that's what everybody wants to know. Guess what, guys? This is $20. Yes, that's a lot more expensive than the drugstore stuff, but when you compare it to the original Beauty Blender, this is the same price. So I'm thinking for those of you guys that love the original Beauty Blender, maybe this could be a good alternative. I don't know, we'll see. We have to test it out and see how well this guy works. So as you guys can see, um, you know, it's got a little like center point and these two sides are designed to reach hard to get areas. And uh, this is interesting. I've already wet it so it's like nice and soft and like bouncy. And I don't know how much product this is going to soak up. That's something we're gonna test out. So let me go ahead and apply my foundation. Just so you guys know, I've already primed with this e.l.f. mattifying balm because summer is just like, it's got my oily skin like in major, major like oil production. It's crazy. And um, I'm going to use my latest favorite. This is the Smashbox uh, Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. It's got a foundation on one side and the contour on the other. By the way, you guys, if you haven't checked out my review on this foundation, you should. I've really been loving it. I've just been really careful to set it in my oily areas like very well because uh, like I said, in my T-zone, this summer has been driving my skin crazy. Okay, so now that we have that on there, this is a little sponge and uh, let's, let's see, I'm gonna use the shorter side first. Okay, so it looks like I do have to kind of like drag it to spread the creamy foundation. So far, so good. And then it looks like when you pounce it, you do get that nice flawless finish. Hmm, so, so far, so good. I will say that you definitely have to use, at least for stick foundations, the like drag and then dab motions because I found that just dabbing it initially wasn't spreading the product enough like I wanted it to, but once I kind of dragged it to cover it fully, and then I went back and I actually like pounced it, I got really nice finish. I mean, I think it actually looks really beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and move on to concealer. Okay, so for concealer, I'm using the NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer that I reviewed. If you guys wanna check that out, feel free. I'm not going for a super highlighted look today, honestly. I just want something kind of like more natural on the face because my eyes are like, bam. So I'm taking the more pointed part to really get it into those areas. Ooh. So the more pointed part, honestly, you guys, is kind of flimsy, but it's not too bad. Let me use the other side. Hmm, this is interesting. I think I definitely got a very flawless finish, but this pointier part, I'm not feeling. I feel like it's just like too flimsy at the top, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be baking today, you guys, with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep, and I'm using this smaller side. This summer just has my skin so oily. 
I usually don't bake, but <laughs> in extreme circumstances, you gotta. Okay, so while I'm baking here, I wanna take a moment, talk to you guys about this little sponge here. You know, I think it's nice. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I love like this top little short stubby side, but this side here, I just don't get it. Um, I know it's supposed to be used for hard to reach areas, like your inner corner, but it's like way too flimsy. Like it almost needs a little bit more structure for you to like go in and use it. It just like kind of moves around and wobbles and it just makes it really hard to use or to get your desired results, if that makes sense. Um, I do like that they're trying to compete with the beauty blender like target audience, I get that. I just think that with this, they could tweak it a little bit more to make it a better product. Like for me, I just feel like this should be the only like you know, side, and then it should be rounded on the other side. I do like that I can keep my fingers kind of clean. I mean, I did use my fingers for a little bit of blending, so it doesn't matter, but if you really don't wanna get your hands like super dirty, they say you can just grip the middle, and I totally think that you can do that. I just, I don't know, I think it's a fun product to use. It's like super different, but I don't think that it's something that you have to like go out of your way you know what I mean, to use. So um, let me go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so now that everything's all done, the look is complete. Um, I do wanna say I did also try to blend this out with some cream, like, bronzer, and you know, I mean, it looks fine now, but it, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, you know, it took me a lot longer than normal to blend this out properly and have it not look, you know, slightly patchy. And I've used um, actually the contour side of the Smashbox stick, which is exceptionally creamy, looks like a dream, blends like a dream. So I was really surprised, you know, I thought it would be a little bit better at that. And to me, if you're gonna buy a makeup sponge, it needs to work with foundation, it needs to work with concealer, all your cream products, and also your highlight. The highlight side wasn't so bad, but I felt like the bronzer, you know, where it needs to be like exceptionally blended, was lacking. So in just my personal opinion, I'm gonna say that, you know, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to run out and go buy this. But given the way that I feel, I wanna know how you guys feel about it. Would you try it? Have you tried it already? I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts. And also, a quick question for you guys. I am thinking about going back to doing some YouTube live streams. So let me know if you're interested. I'm thinking about doing them on Saturdays um, at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. Don't forget guys to check out some of my playlists if you're still new to my channel or maybe you wanna refresh yourself on some of the reviews or tutorials that I've done in the past. So make sure you go check that out. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.